Hello learners, welcome back to our YouTube channel Robo Army. Imagine having a dice that's always ready to roll at the press of a button, complete with sound effects to make every roll exciting. Let's start building our own digital dice. Here are the components you'll need. One Arduino UNO board. Next, we have a 7-segment display. If you want to know more about 7-segment display, click above on the I button. We also need a push button, which will act as our dice roller, initiating the rolling sequence when pressed. To add some fun sound effects, we'll use a buzzer. It will be to indicate when the dice is rolling and when the final number is displayed. 1. 220 ohm resistor 1. Breadboard Some jumper wires 1. USB cable 1. Double battery holder with DC jack and switch button 2. Lithium ion batteries Let's go through the circuit. Place the 7 segment display onto the breadboard securely with all the pins accessible. Connect the common anode pin that is the center pin on either side of the display to the positive bus of the breadboard via resistor. Next, we we'll connect each segment of the display to digital pins on the Arduino. Refer to this circuit diagram to know which pin corresponds to which segment. Pin number 1 of display to 5 of Arduino. Then pin 2 to 6 of the Arduino. 4 to 7 of Arduino and pin 5 to 8 of Arduino. In the next section, pin 1 to 4 of the Arduino, pin 2 to 3, and pin 4 to 2 of the Arduino. Once all the segment pins are connected, now insert the push button on the breadboard like this. Connect its one terminal to the ground bus on the breadboard and connect this terminal to analog pin A0 of Arduino. Insert buzzer in the breadboard in this way. Connect the positive leg of the buzzer to digital pin 10 and the negative leg to the ground bus on the breadboard. Finally, we need to power our circuit. Connect the 5 volts pin on the Arduino to the positive bus of the breadboard and the ground pin on the Arduino to the ground bus of the breadboard. With all the connections made, our circuit is complete. Verify the circuit according to the circuit diagram. It's time to write some code. Download the code by using the link provided in the description below. Now open the file if you've already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. Here you can see, we have defined the pins for each segment of the 7 segment display. These pins will control which segments light up to form the numbers. Next, we have defined the pins for the push button and buzzer as well as an unconnected analog pin used to initialize the random number generator. We set the frequency for the buzzer and defined variables to manage the display time. Here, on and off will help us control whether segments are lit for a common anode or common cathode display. In the setup function, we initialize the random number generator using the analog pin, start serial communication, and set the pin modes for our components. In the loop function, we continuously check if the button is pressed. If it is, we call the roll the dice function to simulate the dice rolling. The roll the dice function generates random numbers between 1 and 6 to simulate the rolling of the dice. It displays each number with a short beep and a delay to create the rolling effect. The show number function lights up the appropriate segments on the 7 segment display to show the generated number. It calls helper functions like 1, 2, etc. which define the segments to be lit for each number. Each of these functions sets the state of the pins to light up the correct segments for each number. And that's the code for our Lucky Roller Digital Dance. Now upload the code by following some instructions. Connect the Arduino UNO to your computer using a USB cable. 
Then select Port and Board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now upload the code by clicking the Upload button. You can see the sketch is first verified by the compiler and then uploaded to the Arduino. And there you have it. Power the Arduino by using your battery pack via DC power jack. You can hear the buzzer beep quickly, adding to the effect of a rolling dice. This is our final dice roll result. The number could be anything between 1 and 6, just like a real dice. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share it, and subscribe for more exciting tutorials.